Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back fellow mesh texters. So today we're going to be talking about the changeover from the wide mode which we use in mesh core to the narrow mode which a lot of kind of meshes now around the world are starting to switch over to. And the reason these guys are adopting this new narrow mode is purely performance. So I'm going to give you a rundown of why we should be looking at kind of using these narrow settings. So the main advantages of narrow are narrow bandwidth so it can avoid interference. I'll get come onto that in a minute and I'll show you an SDR um, kind of screen grab of, of why this is a good idea. Um, the second reason is virtually the same performance as current settings but it can be faster in some cases and more reliable. In turn this actually reduces the number of collisions so that's like the number of packets that might you know hit each other because because one node doesn't hear another one and they both transmit at the same time, etc. That sort of thing. And the third interesting one is it's going to allow us to have four channels in the EU allocation. So four radio channels, not like mesh channels, actual radio RF channels, which can operate independently. That's going to be quite interesting going forward. And um, also this mode reduces the noise floor on repeaters. So we've all probably had this problem where, you know, you stick a node in a really good position and you think, oh, you know, this is a great location for a node. Um, and then you only to find that the noise floor is just horrendous because you know, you're in a really good position, you're gonna pick up more interference. So this reduces that as well. Um, and as I say, this has been tried and tested in difficult areas like USA, um, the diehard Seattle mesh, shout out to you guys, you know, know where it's at, it's working brilliantly over there. And also Slovakia, Bratislava with very bad RF interference uh, on the center frequency of 869.525. So let's show you on the SDR what I'm talking about. Right, so this is my SDR, which runs pretty much 24 7 so looking at the band. It's not using a big outdoor antenna, it's just using a simple antenna, which is connected to like a hack RF up there. So it's only picking up kind of local signals. Now, the first thing we see here is this kind of big carrier here. It's not that big, but it's, it's a carrier here that is in the middle of our current wide mode. So if we send a, a kind of a message out in wide mode, like I'll just send a load of letters out on here and you'll see, look at that. So it covers that whole span that's wide. Now that spike is in the middle of where we're basically transmitting. So from experience and from testing this stuff, when that signal is going, then you don't hear anything on you know, your wide setup. And this has been a bugbear for me for a long time. Now, if we move to narrow, you can see that's the narrow carrier or narrow um, spread there. It's nowhere near this carrier. So we are completely away from that. And for the first time ever, I've not missed a packet because basically, you know, we're not having this signal interfering with um, the mesh comms. Now, this is just this area, of course, this is just this area. So it might be different in different areas. Um, you know, you might have a signal in this area, you just don't know. But for this area, it has improved my communications massively. I know there's some guys out in Berkshire in the UK that have been struggling to get the mesh working on the wide settings as soon as they've changed to narrow it's working absolutely perfectly. So it, it really is making a lot of difference out there. So now I'm gonna show you the easiest way you can change over to narrow. So to start with then, I'm gonna switch over my repeater, which is currently on wide, to narrow mode. My companion that I'm on at the moment, Andy Tracker L1, is also on wide, which will allow me to change my repeater. You can't really do it the other way around because you won't be able to change the repeater without your node or your companion being on the same settings. So basically to start with, we're gonna find my repeater here and we're gonna log in to my repeater. Uh, this is a test repeater, so I've left the um, password as, as it was initially. So password, so we're gonna log in to the repeater here and that's gonna show you green when it's when it's logged in. Now it's, it's better to do this without using multiple hops in the chain because that's gonna cause problems. So if you're doing this, really try and be, you know, right next to the repeater if you can be. Um, so we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna fetch the settings here and you will see that we are on the wide settings here. And this is the UK EU wide settings. So if we tap these little three dots here, we can open up the preset menu and now you will see there's a narrow EU UK mode. Hit that and that will load in the new settings into the repeater. Now, 
This hasn't actually taken effect yet. You will need to hit the tick button next to the radio settings and wait until you get a green OK success and reboot to apply. So next thing you're going to do, the settings will not have changed at this point. So you must reboot the repeater for the settings to be applied. So hit reboot. It will ask you to confirm the repeater reboot, reboot and it will go off and do its thing. Now you won't obviously get a indication that anything's happened because the repeater has gone offline and it's going to come back, come back on. So we'll wait for a second. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change our companion. So my Andy Tracker L1 will change to narrow mode. So we're going to go into the settings of our companion, hit the little cog there. You can see this is still on wide settings. We're going to go choose preset and we're going to select UK, EU UK narrow. That's done that. And now we're going to hit tick to apply those settings. Now, the good thing about the companions is they don't need to reboot. The, these settings have now been applied to the device. So no reboots, no waiting or anything like that. You can um, get, get straight on. So now we should be able to log into our Helltech test repeater and we will be on narrow settings. So you can see it's actually a little bit quicker because of the um, speed increase. We can get the stats from the repeater. You can see our noise floor is, is not bad on this particular one. It's actually sitting right next to a computer, so that's probably not, not great. Um, but anyway, back out of here, you can log back in again. Um, we'll use the password, and I'll show you that the settings, or the radio settings, have now been updated. So you can see these should just come through. If they don't come through straight away, sometimes this is just, you know, an, an RF anomaly. So you might get an error there, but don't panic. Just do it again and you should sort of see the settings there. Sometimes the repeaters might take 10, 15 seconds to um, to reboot. But, you know, if you're sitting right by it, you can check it and, and see. Other times, with sometimes the rack repeaters, I've found that they might not apply the settings straight away. So if you can't access the repeater, you might have to go back um, to the wide settings and try and reset the repeater again or you know plug it into the computer and use the the um the repeater console so that is how you do the companion and the repeater and next up i'm going to show you how to do the t deck so to change over to the narrow settings on your t deck you're going to want to hit the left menu button here then scroll down to networks then go into your wide network, which you've obviously already got. And then we're going to want to start changing the settings. So you can see I've got the settings here on the right on this on this Pro. So basically the frequency has now changed to 869.618. So we're going to confirm that with the enter. And then we're going to move down to spreading factor. Um, you just remove that. And then we're going to change the spreading factor to 8. So that's the spreading factor. The coding rate has also changed to eight. And now we're gonna to change to narrow bandwidth. So just remove the 250 and type in 62 decimal five. Now to confirm that, you need to hit the enter button and it will say reboot to apply. So just simply turn off your T deck, turn it back on again, and it will come back on with the new settings applied. So it's rebooted, we can go down to networks again and into the Meshcore 869 network and we can see that we have the settings applied. Now you might have noticed that this 618 has changed to 617. It's an anomaly in the TDEC firmware, it's something to do with rounding, don't worry about it. As long as you've typed in 618, it will be absolutely fine. So that is how you do the T-Deck. So guys, please give this a try. I know it's a pain for some of you and I've thought long and hard about this decision. As I say, some of the other meshes, they've been using this mode for like quite a long time now. And I've been hassled by some of the guys to like, you've got to change the UK over to um, narrow because it just works so, so much better. We have finally done some pretty intensive testing on this. I've got to say, it really is good. It's extremely snappy. It feels a lot quicker, even though it's not that much faster faster data rate it really does feel a lot snappier and there's just going to be it's going to give room for breathing space especially as the mesh increases as well because it's a little bit faster more gaps in the air time to actually kind of squeeze a few more packets in there um yeah so give it a go guys i know as i say i know it's a pain if there's some 
stations out there where you're relying on one repeater um, that you know nobody updates ever that can be a right pain but yeah maybe it's time to sort of work on your own antenna system get things really kind of working because the chances are if there's a repeater nearby and you're getting a signal from that you're probably going to be able to set up something similar to that so just let us know how you're getting on there's the discord so we can all talk about this i've created a separate kind of thread on there to discuss this in the uk area so come and join the mesh cord discord if you haven't already let us know in the comments what's going on and we can all sort of work together to sort of get this really working as well as it can do because it's a really exciting time for mesh court and it's going from strength to strength anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this one catch you next time